for watching Two for Ten. I'm Melissa and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight for dinner I'm making bacon wrapped scallops. Now this morning before I went to work I took the scallops out of the freezer, put them in some water and just let them sit in the refrigerator. Now I bought a pound of scallops, split it into two and I froze them. They'll usually last a couple of weeks that way in the freezer. Okay we're gonna start with the bacon. I have eight slices of thick bacon. I'm going to pre-cook in a non-stick pan on high for about two to four minutes. Now I know you may be asking yourself why pre-cook the bacon. I pre-cook the bacon because it gives it a crispier outside and most people's complaint about bacon wrapped scallops is that the bacon is usually too chewy. So we're going to pre-cook the bacon. Now due to the size of the pan we're going to put them in four at a time. And the first four done, we're going to put them on a paper plate with some paper towels and let them drain. Now the bacon's done, we're going to start wrapping the scallops. Now I took the scallops, drained them, and patted them dry with some paper towels. And the bacon, because it was only partially cooked, isn't as hot as you think it is. So we can get started actually wrapping the, the scallops right now. Now I have some toothpicks soaking in water here and it's important to do that because one it's going to hold the bacon together on the scallop and two it's going to keep them from burning in the pan. So you just wrap your scallop like so. I'm going to take two toothpicks. Take the first one, stick it in the end with the loose side of the bacon. Take the other one put it on the other side so you make a cross. This is going to keep the bacon and the scalp together and it's easier to handle in the pan this way. Now I'm going to do this with the next seven. Melissa says, always wash your hands after handling raw shellfish, you dirty Now this is the last one. As soon as we're done this, I'm going to put them in the pan that I have on medium high. I have some margarine in it and we're going to get cooking. Okay, now we're going to put them in the pan and we're just going to place them scallop side down. We already have some margarine in here heating up and we're going to cook them for about seven minutes. Seasoning them with a little salt, pepper, and paprika, and we're going to brush it with a little butter that we have melted here on the side as well. So light coating on each one, and you're going to let that cook for about seven to eight minutes. Okay, it's been about four minutes, so I'm going to flip them, and I'm going to brush on some butter. A little season it again. Hit it on the pan as well. All right, so now I'm going to remove the scallops and we're going to get ready to plate them. Now, if you notice while you're cooking that your bacon still needs to be cooked a little more on the sides, just pick them up and sear them on the sides. Hold it in tongs like this and sear it down on the side. Okay. Once we're done with this and we go to plate, we're going to remove the toothpicks. Now remember, there's two toothpicks in each scallop. The scallops, $12 a pound. I used half a pound, that's $6. Bacon is $3 a package. I used half a package, that's $1.50. One of the sides I chose for tonight is rice. Just microwave rice, minute and 20 in the microwave. It's a little bland, so I just took some almonds that I had left over from lunch and toasted them up in a pan. And then I took some mushrooms I had left over from dinner. And I also threw those in the food processor, mixed them up, tossed them in with the rice. Microwave rice, $1.29. Second side was French cut string beans. Uh, threw them in the microwave, minute and 25 seconds. 
drained them, added some salt, pepper, butter, put them back in for a minute and 15, and that was it. Yes, I use frozen green beans. People ask the difference between frozen green beans and fresh green beans. Yep, sometimes fresh is better for you. But frozen, quick, easy, they're in the freezer, grab them anytime, throw them in the microwave, boom, they're done. They don't go bad. Got the string beans, five for five. That makes this portion a dollar. Now this looks like a lot of food, and it is. You have to remember, even at home, presentation is key. This is an overwhelming amount of food. Leftovers are good, but you don't have to serve leftovers. Keep some in the bowl. If you want more, go and get more. Keep in mind, next time you're going out to buy plates, get something other than white. It makes it a little more fun and makes the food actually look even more appetizing. And that's our meal. Total, $9.79. That's two people, less than $10, in about 20 minutes. Now remember, main courses can be easy and fast. Frozen vegetables, just fine to buy. And plating is important, even at home. Thanks for watching 2 for 10. I'm Melissa, and I'm ready to eat.